So after you get the trim off, you can now test fit the flare on the door, get it pretty much where you want it to be. I found just on the edge of the door, lining it up seems to be the best spot and it gives you a pretty, pretty good fit to the contours of the truck. Okay, so for the brackets, I like to use perforated metal. Um, it gives you flexibility of different mounting options. You're not restricted to just one mounting hole. So it's kind of forgiving if you uh, make a mistake. Um, best way, I bend it in a, in a bench vise with my fingers. I mean, it's, it's strong metal, but it's easy to move by hand. So you can get it to the contours that you need for your flares. Uh, this is eighth inch holes. A uh, sixteenth of an inch thick and uh, cut it from a 4 by 8 sheet so you cut it to whatever size you need. Um, I did find however um, I'm using number six machine screws for my install and I actually had to use an eighth inch drill bit to drill the holes to an actual eighth of an inch. It's, they're just a little bit small um, you can use whatever screws you like but for uh, for my door for that door flare I'm going to use eighth inch holes um, drilled into this with a number six machine screw. So now a test fit shows uh, basically what I was going for. I did want the actual <clears throat> perforated metal bracket hidden behind the fender flare just for more clean appearance. Um, you obviously can do it however you wish. And I've bent the bracket around the contours of the door where I want to bolt it through and I'm going to use a number 10 self-topping screw to actually put it into the door. And actually to uh, just make a note, I have now removed the fender flares and you'll notice where I drilled the holes is actually coming through the body on the outside of the door. Not a big deal. Um, just make sure that after you paint them or when they're going to be finally mounted, um, put some grease or rust proofing, some kind of uh, corrosion inhibitor to prevent the possibility of water getting in there or salt or anything else to uh, rust the door. So just uh, keep in mind that that is what you're drilling through unless you choose to make your brackets longer. But it, at that point, you'll get more flex and the flare may not hold to the door the way you want it to. Um, so just keep in mind that this is actually where the holes are going to end up if you do it the way that I did. And uh, that is the rust butt that uh, the flare now hides. Again, I will be fixing that, but uh, it is a nice, uh, easy solution. Instead of trying to fix, fix that properly, painting it, you can uh, cut it out, throw some fiberglass on or body filler just to stop the rust. Don't have to make it look pretty. Put the fender flare over top and you're good to go. All right, so uh, thanks for watching my video.